We're gonna go for a six and a half hour car ride today. We are in the middle of four weeks with no screams and today is gonna be the most challenging part of our four weeks. Are you guys nervous about six and a half hours in a car with no screams? Not really. Why not, Maya? Because Just because of those bags. I know, I have some tricks up my sleeve today that I'm really excited about. We're loaded up in the car and on our way to... Hey everyone, we are going on a oh. road trip today. Are you ready for a road uh -huh. trip, guys? Yeah. yeah. Now there's gonna be one major challenge in this road trip. What is it? No screams. No screams. Ah. We are in the middle of four weeks with no screams Ow. and today is gonna be the most challenging part of our four weeks. Cause we're gonna go for a six and a half hour car ride today. Six and a half hours without stop. So probably even longer than that we're gonna be on the road. Colin, do you know where we're going? Location with candy. We're actually not gonna tell you where we're going. You can come along with us on this crazy car ride, but to see where we end up, cool. you're gonna have to watch our next vlog. The next vlog is, should air on Monday, March uh -huh. 15th, and it's gonna uh -huh. be a really special one, Melissa uh -huh. Colin. Uh -huh. Are you guys nervous about six and a half uh -huh. hours in a car with no screens? Uh -huh. Not really. No? Not really. Why not, Maya? Because Just candy. because of those bags. I know, I have some tricks up my sleeves today that I'm really excited about. No and what do you see, Colin? You see, see an amazing snack bag, too. There's donuts. There's donuts. <laughs> Is that gonna make your ride extra fun? Huh. I found an idea on Pinterest to put together fun surprise bags to open every hour of the car ride. So I have six bags here that the kids are gonna get to open. They're gonna have activities and things to do to keep us busy uh -huh. during our journey today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, are you excited? Uh -huh. I have the bags numbered one through six. I saw some really cute ideas to actually put the time on each bag that they're supposed to be opened, but I wasn't sure exactly what time we were leaving, so I didn't go for that route. Another idea was to put the city that you pass through, and every time you pass through the city on the bag, you get to open the bag, which I thought was fun too. And parents, if you wanna try this at home for your next car ride, I wanna let you know that these don't have to be expensive items. The whole purpose was for this to be easy and inexpensive. So most of the things I found were from the Target dollar bins, from Five and Below, or the dollar store. I really wanted it just to be a fun surprise element and nothing that was gonna break the bank to get across from here to our destination. I actually have a bag here of all the items I'm going to swap out and put in the surprise bags on our way home from our destination. So I thought I'd give you a quick peek at the type of items I'm including. So for example, I bought some of these scratch and design sheets where you scratch off paper and you make all sorts of designs and pictures. I bought several just silly fidget items. I don't remember what these are called, but they were in the Target dollar bin and I used to love these when I was a kid. They're just fun to play with and fidget with. I found these little mini um, doodle boards again. I think these are from the Target dollar bin. I think they were just about three dollars. And I got my spy game, which will be a fun game we can play together as a family. Here's that travel size Bop It, which is such a fun game. I think it'll keep the kids busy. And then I got even just a few little, um, let's see, like activity sticker books to keep Colin busy, and even some yummy treats. My plan for when we return from the trip is to put all these items in a bin up in my closet so that way they only come out when it's time for a road trip. That way I think the items will still be exciting and it'll be another reason the kids actually look forward to long road trips together as a family. This is one of the games we're gonna bring. It's the license plate game. These are license plates for all the states in our country and we're gonna see how many license plates we can see while we're out and about. Does that sound like fun? Mm -hmm. Sure. I used to play this with my sister when we were kids. Every car we'd go and we'd look at all the license plates and see how many different license plates we could see and also see where the furthest car was from, which is kind of fun to do. Are we gonna find like where it's from or like what it looks like? Just where it's from. So for example, if we find a car that's from Mississippi, we'll check off Mississippi on our sheet. So if we find a car from Oklahoma, we'll check off Oklahoma on our sheet. Let's take a guess right now how many different States, do you think we're gonna see license plates from? 20. 20, what do you think? I think maybe around like five or 10. Five or 10, I'll go, I'm gonna guess 12. Mm. Let's see what we find today. 
We're loaded up in the car and on our way to Mystery Destination! Are you ready to go to the Mystery Destination? Yes. Are you ready to go? Yes. What about you, Colin? I'm ready to go! We have lots to do to keep us busy on this car ride. What's the first thing we're gonna do, kiddos? Listen to Horrible Harry. Listen to Horrible Harry, is that what you wanna do? Yes. Before we left, I downloaded a few audibles onto my phone so we can listen to some yeah. books on tape, although I guess yeah. they're not really on tape anymore. But we're gonna start with Horrible Harry because I thought that would be a good one to keep Colin entertained. Yeah. We're 40 minutes into our car ride, and how many license plates have we found, or how many states? 12, 13. 13, 13. that's a lot. I can't believe we've already checked off 13 states, and it hasn't even been an hour yet. Did we already get Maine? We already got Maine. Seriously? That's our second car from Maine right there. Ah. Maine is definitely one of our further ones. Arizona's pretty far, too. You've seen Arizona. Well, we've seen Arizona. We saw Arizona. Maine, New Hampshire, Mississippi, New Mexico, Alabama. We've got quite a few. Oh, here's another one. Ooh, Delaware. That's our first. We don't have Delaware yet. There's number 14. What state do you think will be the hardest one to find, Jason? What state? Uh huh. Probably California. I was going to say Hawaii. Or Hawaii. And yeah. Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be hard. I wasn't counting the uh, those. Oh, that truck's Texas. Do we have Texas yet? No, it's our first Texas. All right, number 15. We just found a car from California. That car's traveled a long yeah. ways, hasn't it? So long. So far. Oh, we found one. We found one. That one's for Maine again. How many states do we have now, Maya? 20. 20. We're almost halfway done. I know. Parents, if you want to download your own license plate game, I found this at a blog called Paper Trail Design. So far, it has been a hit. Since trucks travel all over the country, they're helping us out tremendously. Most of the states we've gone in so far are trucks. We've officially been on the road for one hour, so that means we get to open our very first surprise bag. Ooh, scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt? Ooh, it's a car again. Each player is going to get five scavenger hunt cards and we have to look for the things on the five cards that we have. When we find them, we shout it at everybody, we prove that we found it and we discard it. The first person to discard 10 cards wins. Here are my cards, another car with two kids in it. I have a fuel card, a big truck, green grass, and what's this, a motel or hotel. I already found a big truck over here, so my first discard is complete. What are you girls looking for? I'm looking for a person talking on a cell phone, a fence, a bird, a person, a person wearing a hat, and a speed sign. I have green grass, which should be easy to find, but it's winter and all. Oh, there is green grass! There is green grass! I found green grass. I was going to say most of the grass is dead, but we just spotted some. Thank you, Addy. Mm -hmm. You found it for me. Completely when I saw a truck driver wearing a hat. Good Ooh, job, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna discard this. Jason, you gotta look for a yellow car and a bus for me. Will do. We have a winner! Who won? Me! Addie won all and 10. Two. And what was the last one you found to win, Addie Rue? I found a traffic light. A last. traffic light. Good yeah. job, girly. Get bag number two. What is it? Huh? What is it? Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Oh, that's for Addie and Maya to play. What do you get? What is that? Paw Patrol. A Paw Patrol controller. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. The flip slide game that the girls are playing is something I found at Target. It's made by Moose Toys. I tested it out before I packed it up and it's a lot of fun. It's a fun game. You can play in four different modes. You have to move quick and match things. I think it'll keep the kids busy but we're going to have to learn how to share it.
It was a little tricky putting the surprise bags together because of the different ages of the kids. Like there were a lot of things that I knew Addie and Maya would have fun with, but that were a little bit too difficult for Collins. So for some of the bags, I put in separate activities for the girls versus activities for Colin. We stopped real quickly. We're in Memphis, Tennessee for some lunch. This means we're almost halfway done with our trip. We're about three hours in and have about three and a half hours left to go. What did we just pass at the Memphis? St. Jude, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. That's right, you have your mask on for mm -hmm. them, don't you? Yeah. You're presenting. We had an opportunity to visit St. Jude about a year ago, maybe two years ago, and it was just such a wonderful place. We definitely support it and just think they do wonderful things there. Just cross the state line to which state? I don't know, do you know? It's time for bag number three. <laughs> My turn to open. What's in this That's one? It. There's three push pops, but there's more. Push pops for everybody. Yay! They're these things. These are little fidget toys I oh, found. Yay, I love fidget toys. The fidget toy was another target find. And on the box, it showed all these different cool shapes you can twist and turn it to create. I did unpackage everything before I put them in the bags, though, because I didn't want to have even more trash inside our car than we needed. So everything's unboxed, and we'll have to figure out what they can create by fidgeting with it. an Animal Planet Guess in 10 game. The object is to ask intelligent questions to guess what's shown on the game card. You can only ask questions whose answers are yes or no and use your clues wisely to guess what the animal is. You guys wanna play? Yes. I have my first card. The first two buzzwords that I'm gonna tell them are small and slow. Sloss? My, don't guess yet. So you only get two guesses. That's one of your guesses. Is it a wild animal? No. Could it be used as a pet? A slam. No. Is it an animal that lives at the zoo? No. There are clue cards you can use. Would you like to use one of your clue cards, girls? Sure. Clue card one, two, or three? Three. Clue number three. While moving, I leave behind a trail of slime. Oh, is it a snail? It is. Yes. You get the card, you have one card you got right so far. Good job, girlie. So the first one to three? So the first person to seven cards wins the game. Okay. Addie has one, the rest of us have zero. Well, we're getting closer and closer. We're just a little over an hour out and it's now time to go on to our fifth bag. Ooh, what is that? Hangman. Hangman. Word is seven letters long. Colin thinks C. C. Let me see. The first letter is C. Good guess, Colin. The first letter is C. Is there an E in it? There is no E. So now we have the head. And the body. And we add that on. Is there an R? There is an R. I guess there is an S. An S? No S. Cowgirl! Is that the word? It oh, is cowgirl! Oh, good right. job, Bailey! This is actually a game I found on Amazon. I think it'd be great for an airplane ride too. It's all magnetic. They had all sorts of games from hangman to matching games. I think what some others were, but there was a good variety. We're actually getting really close to our mystery destination now. What's inside? Colin gets a man hand thing. Ooh. Ooh. And me and Addie get some Mad Libs to play. Ooh. So Maya, before you get busy on Mad Libs, you gotta tell us how many license plates we found. We found quite a few, I'm pretty impressed. We found 33. 33 different license plate states. Yes. That's pretty cool. That's actually way more than I thought we would find. 
Well, we're on the home stretch, so if you wanna find out where we're headed, be sure to watch the next vlog on Monday. It's gonna be a really big, exciting one. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So kiddos, how was the whole car ride without screens? Awesome. Okay. Was it okay? Yeah. I actually thought it was pretty fun. I had a really good time with it, actually. I think we all did. Okay, so, so, so. Bye. Bye.